Hello and welcome back to our channel, The Tandis Living the Good Life. If you are a new subscriber, I want to welcome you to our community. And if you're a returning subscriber, I want to say thank you so much for tuning back. Thank you so much for the support, uh, for liking, for commenting, for sharing and boosting this video. I believe it's reaching the people it's supposed to reach. So to recap, the roof was installed. Yes, what an exciting moment. I've seen your questions and I am going to address each and every one of them. Okay, so we are a UK based uh, couple who are planning a move back to the Zimbabwean soil. Eh, that is who we are. So after the roof, we moved on to the water. The water was a challenge. If you've seen our videos, you've seen drums scattered everywhere on the building site. That is because the drums were used to put water. And to do that, they would siphon, you know, siphoning method. That's what they are doing right in this clip. And then after that, we promoted ourselves to the water bowser. That one could uh, take a lot of water in one go and it reduced the trips. And of course, the Toyota Hilux truck helped to carry the water. So the water was a challenge. So I'm going to let Mr. Tandy take over to tell you how we addressed this challenge. Guys, how exciting is this? We are both watching it together. I had to watch it via video link like this. And I was so excited to see the borehole being sunk. So one thing we didn't do was to pay for a water survey. I think that is what they call it. We didn't water sighting. We didn't do that. Uh, my husband basically said, Panim kute panim vura. That's what he said. And at 30 meters, they hit water. So mukute is a type of uh, a tree. And where that mukute is, there is water. So my husband used African knowledge to cite water. That was very exciting. Our contractor, our um, the contractor who did this for us, he, they were very skeptical in the beginning. But, uh, well, you can see the results. We had water. Then we went shopping for the Jojo tank and also for the solar water pump. The one that gets submerged into the water. That's the one that we went. So that's the one that you can see. So they were demonstrating how it all works. And uh, my husband was very pleased with the pump. So he purchased it. So we had different options that we were looking at in regards to where the Jojo tank was going to go. A uh, steel frame, were we going to build a structure and put it there? Were we going to use like a, a little, uh, to put it on the ground, but just uh, raised up a bit? We looked at all those options. And in a later video, uh, we're going to explain why we chose the steel frame. Steel frames have been getting a bad rep, of course, because some of them have been collapsing. So what we did is we made sure that we sourced the frame, the steel ourselves to make sure that we would not get poor quality or get scammed. So the contractor who built our steel frame came on site to work and the team worked all night. They finished working at 1 a.m. Um, like I said, we made sure that we sourced the steel ourselves and made sure that it was a very good grade steel. I have to say that um, initially I was voting, I was leaning towards building a structure, but Zuruvi had his, uh, his own uh, thinking. So we went with his thinking. Um, yeah. Like I said, this team worked all through the night. We had a generator that you can see on the pickup truck that we used, but unfortunately it stopped working. It's 11 o'clock at night and we are still trying to make this Jojo thing, Jojo thing stand happen. Oh 
almost midnight. So when he stopped working, uh, the team moved to a local school that is close to our homestead and they were kind enough to let us use their electricity. Uh, that is a demonstration of community uh, support right there. So we compensated them for their time. So the team had to start using the lights on the truck as a light source and they just got on with it really. And they built the, st the frame and the frame was up by the next day. I'm astounded by the way that um, these professional people work. Um, and I have had no qualms with any of the contractors that we have worked with. So I'm happy to share their details and I will do so in, um, in the caption. So our steel frame went up, it was painted, and then we had a contractor come in to install the solar. So the solar panels, we actually bought them from the UK. We got them for a good price and shipped them over to Zimbabwe when we shipped the truck. So part of living the good life is being uh, off grid and we are definitely moving towards that direction. So thank you for watching. Please comment, like, share and subscribe to our channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye.